Right, Tally AD Champs, and what we have here is the XPS 15 recording. Yes, this audio you're hearing is actually coming from the XPS 15. I just synced it up. And we're going to talk about content creation when it comes to this XPS 15. One of the things people always ask me is DPC latency. You can see the monitor here. I'm recording into this. This is Adobe Audition. This is a Focusrite uh, Claret Pre, something like that. Anyway, one thing to note about this is I connected this via Thunderbolt and USB it would not power so I actually had to add power to this so it's supposed to be able to be powered by the USB unfortunately I have to plug it in I went into the BIOS settings and if you do want to see the BIOS settings let me know down there in the comments um, I will go through the BIOS but in the BIOS there was nothing I could turn on to sort of power this so that's just weird I don't know what's going on there first I want to talk about the display on this and oh my god it is amazing this display 400 nits of brightness pretty much 100% everything and it was that 400 nits I measured it low delta ease OLED super crisp it is just color accurate it is amazing I think I picked the right screen here and it's definitely one of the best screens I've seen on a laptop like without question 16 by 10 perfect for content creation so the display is awesome now when it comes to this DPC latency you can see here it's coming up with errors it's not that bad it's just it's green it's starting to get into the red but it's not too bad you can see when I'm talking you know it's pretty much instant right so one two three it's not lagging that much it's not exactly real time but it's pretty good now I will change this over to ASIO so using the ASIO driver this is at 120 the buffer size so just so you would know that so now I'm gonna go in change it to ASIO and see if that improves now let's have a look at this all green all good instant there's no lag and what have I done all I've done is I've changed the driver to the ASIO driver for this device specific for this focus right changed it to ASIO and as you'll see DPC latency absolutely perfect all green and you can see I'm talking and it's like instant okay so that's all you have to do I feel that a lot of people that when they're having DPC latency issues they got it in MME they're not using the right driver the device they're using isn't really that good this thing's good it's got a good driver works well XPS 15 DPC latency check all good all right so let's get into some video editing Right, so now that we know this is good for recording, DPC latency is fine. Let's see how it performs with video editing. This is Premiere. This is a test I use on every single laptop. H.264, 4K footage, LUT applied, and you know you can see there the difference when I apply this LUT, this adjustment layer or not. What you need to be looking for is this green circle here. This means it's playing back at 100%. Now I really think it's important you watch all of this because there's some really important information you don't want to miss. There are some issues with this that is not pertained to this particular laptop and it's actually not the XPS's fault, it's actually more Adobe's fault, but we'll get into that. So first of all, pretty much anything can play this back at full resolution with the LUT applied color adjustment, except if you have a look here and I play it back, you can see there, it's not playing it back. All right, so now let's just get rid of that color adjustment. So we'll get rid of that and we'll play it back. See there, no problem, okay? Now, Ultrabooks can play this back. AMD systems struggle because they don't have the Intel HD. And even like two generations ago, the XPS 15 could play that back full. As you can see here, it can't do it. So why is that? Why is this happening? And it's down to this not being optimized. And it has to do with this needs an update. Adobe needs an update because it's not even using the GPU to play back. Usually it would use both in you know an ideal situation. It would use the GPU and actually the Intel HD. It seems to be only using Intel HD and I don't even know if it's actually using that properly. So the issue is it's not decoding this properly. Now this is using CUDA. I'm using CUDA, but it's not playing it back using you know the GPU. This is a new CPU, it's a new GPU. So maybe they haven't just updated for this GPU yet. All right, it doesn't play it back at full. That's fine. I can just, you know, get rid of the adjustment layer and yeah, no problem, right? It can play it back at full. Now scrubbing performance, Without the adjustment layer, excellent, right? Really good, as you'd expect, it's really nice. Um, now, if I add this, 
it's still okay, but you can see it's it's lagging here and there, and it's nowhere near as smooth. Of course, not decoding it properly, right? With the other XPS 15, it's good. So, you know, this is definitely an update that needs to happen here. But even worse than that, now for me, playback is most important. But if I try and export this, so I'm going to export it. I'm going to YouTube preset, and if I have a look here, it definitely says hardware encoded. Now, I'm going to export this. Just export it anywhere, it doesn't matter. And as you'll see here, it's telling me 24 minutes. What? 24 minutes that is just no that is just way too slow even an ultrabook will do it faster than that and it's actually probably around an ultrabook sort of speed would be you know 18 20 minutes something like that that's one without gpu now if i have a look here what's happening remember adobe done an update and they were using the gpu now for an encoding h.264 h.265 now it's only using the Intel GPU here. It's not using the GTX 350 Ti, right? Render times are really bad. This should be less than five minutes with the GPU rendering, right? A really good beefy laptop, like a 3080 or something like that with an Intel CPU and it will use Intel HD and the GPU together. It doesn't like two minutes 30. That's 20 minutes. Or oh, now it's gone down to 16, but it's still slow. That's just way too slow. So there is a way around this. What I do is go to device manager and I go to display adapter and I disable the Intel HD. Let's just disable that. So I'm disabling it. Mess about, flicker around. Now it's using the GPU. I'm going to load that project up again. Okay, so I've loaded up that project again. It doesn't help with playback. I'm trying to force it to the GPU. It still doesn't help with playback if I just get rid of that. Even now, it will not play that back because it was using Intel HD before. Now, Intel HD is disabled, so it even gets worse. So, you know, that's no good for scrubbing and will play back. Now, let's export it, though. So, I'm going to export it again. And as you can see there, it's saying four minutes, okay? Four minutes. Now, we're using the GPU. Intel HD is gone, but we're using the internal 350 Ti. Why isn't it using it already? It should be using both together. And then I should have render times of, you know, two minutes in the two minute area. Now I'm getting three minutes, which is still fast, but I should be getting even better times with the Intel HD and GPU together. So, you know, this is, for me, it's unusable because the scrubbing performance, the rendering performance, it's just not where I need it to be to, you know, edit my sort of content. So... Adobe need to do an update and it may just be I could go into a text file and add RTX 3050 Ti and then it would start working but Adobe need to do an update it's nothing to do with the hardware you can see there it was only going to take three minutes to render if I was using a GPU so I should be able to use the Intel HD and GPU together now you don't wait for software updates who knows when Adobe are going to update this I'm just letting you know in now in Adobe you got to do the workaround for the rendering and then you need to have the Intel HD on for you know scrubbing and stuff like that it's a bit of a headache so Adobe need to update this so I'm not even going to go to the rest of the Adobe suite because now I will be getting an XPS 17 let's see how we go with that and I will be testing this in the future and I will update you when Adobe update this and I expect this will be no problems this will be great for video editing yes it's four gigabytes you know 350 Ti it would have been nice if it was 6 gigabytes, but I think most people edit 4K content, it's fine. And even for 6K, I have tried 6K and that wasn't playing back as well because, of course, it's not decoding using the GPU. So wait for the updates. Uh, at the moment, we know DPC latency is fine. Video editing, especially in Premiere, well, it's a no-go at the moment until this gets updated. But the screen, the display, everything else checks out. Hopefully this gets updated soon. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Telly, ho.